South news related to the ANC tonight and pressure is mounting for Eastern Cape Health MEC Cindy Swagomba to be sacked. Gomba was among a group of people who appeared in court on Friday on charges of fraud, corruption and money laundering as well as contravention of the Municipal Finance Management Act. This is all to do with alleged theft during arrangements for the funeral of late former President Nelson Mandela in 2013. Premier Oscar Mabuyane in a short statement on Friday said that he was looking into the matter. Let's take it further then. Bring in political analyst Ongamam Timka joining us by Skype tonight. And Ongama, the Premier, as I was just referencing, they're saying he's looking into the matter. How much longer can Mabuyane resist or hold back these calls for him to indeed suspend or sack the MEC? I think it's inevitable that he's going to have to take action against uh, uh, Cindy Um This is the second time that this issue is resurfacing. It came in 2019, but uh, I think was withdrawn well, well ahead of uh, them being appointed to key positions. It remember that the former Buffalo City Mayor, too, uh, is serving in the National Assembly as well as uh, Gomba now in the uh, uh, provincial uh, cabinet. It's. Ongama, are you still with us? Okay, I think we've lost Ongamam Timka there speaking to us about the situation in the Eastern Cape. The health MEC, Cindy Sokom, by appearing in court on Friday on corruption charges. Ongamam, I'm told we have you back. You were just speaking about what the options are for the Premier, uh, Oscar Mabuyane, as far as these calls for him to act against the MEC. Sure, the previous time uh, when he, uh, when, when she was called upon uh, to resign or him, fire him, I fire her as a result of uh, the displeasure of the Minister of Health about her perform non-performance, non especially in, in Nelson, when, when COVID first broke out in Nelson Mandela Bay, uh, Oscar Mabuyani came to her defense. And you can understand now that we are heading close to critical party events in the ANC where alliances are important. But unfortunately, as, as per the, unfortunately for him, he has to act against a person who has been seen to be a, an important ally in the political uh, battles in the Eastern Cape. And so he, he, he has an inevitable, uh, you know, an enviable decision to take an action uh, against her at a time when any move against uh, key people is is a politically potentially politically weakening move, but the Eastern Cape can afford to be inconsistent here at Tembekil because it was they who first called on um, uh, uh, Ace Mahashule to step aside, and more recently that a firmer action be taken against uh, President Jacob Zuma. So exactly that then, when Oscar Mawiyane says in that statement on Friday that he's looking into the matter, what's there to look into when you've had an MEC <laughs> standing in the dock with nine other accused to do with not just any corruption scandal, but money stolen during, allegedly, the planning of a funeral for a former president? Yeah, I think it's some political balancing act and internal consultations within the party. Um, and, and, and the challenge here is that the ANC... For by failing to uh, uh, recognize those of its uh, comrades who uh, have brought the party into disrepute, and by being too reliant on legal processes, it has put itself in a compromised position where you have a lot of people who are in positions in government, in legislative houses throughout the country, who it was known even at the time that they were elected for office that they had a cloud hanging over them. So, 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 so it, it, it is inevitable that such criticism be leveled against them when they dilly dally when a proper action has to be taken. Because in the first place, it is them who, despite the guidelines of through the eye of the needle and uh, uh, resolutions on organizational renewal, go on to elect people who've got a questionable conduct and history. In fact, the NC has done the opposite. Because if you look at the co-accused, uh, Tembikile, you'll find that some of them have gone on. I know as uh, Swanita, for example, the former executive mayor, went on to be in the National Assembly, even uh, as her name also appeared 
as uh, in in that uh, list, if, mm. I, if if my memory serves me well. And just on that, then, Ongama, today the NEC is meeting. We're reading News 24 publishing in the last what hour or so that, in fact, discussions on the guidelines, the step aside guidelines for members who are accused of corruption, implicated, on trial, or even convicted are still hitting a snag around the debate on Ace Mahashule, who serves in the highest decision-making body of the party. So if they can't agree on something that important, what hope was there that at a provincial level there'd be a speediness in dealing with such serious allegations? Yeah, absolutely. So what you see consistently since, um, say, around about the Mangaung conference, but even before, the ANC comes out of a conference with resolutions on how best to uh, uh, to create an, a, a leadership cadre uh, that represents the party's values. But in each conference uh, where such resolutions are taken, you see uh, people with questionable conduct being elected. So the party has brought itself in this place. The other thing we must bear in mind is that uh, 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 morality, organizational values, and what the organization aspires to by way of organizational renewal resolutions are always subject to the, the action from, uh, to, to, eff to, to effect them. All is always subject to political dynamics, which shows you that uh, the sense of commitment to values and 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 uh, or the aspirational values of the party uh, is lip service, and it's very difficult uh, for the ANC to achieve because factions and corruption and patronage network has become so ingrained in the culture that it is difficult for anybody to rise within the mm. party without, in fact. Uh, aligning themselves with key allies, and those allies may be compromised people who, who have brought the party into disrepute at some stage. That's why it's going to be difficult, Tembegile, at any given time to have a, a, a process to renew the party by bring, bring, bringing in more stringent measures, guiding uh, uh, ethical conduct. It's always going to be subject to the power dynamics within the party. And by the way, I do feel that this is part of what's critical for the ANC to ultimately uh, recognize the, 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 the irreconcilable differences that exist between those that are attempting to rebuild the party and those that are hell-bent on retaining the character of uh, uh, corruption and patronage networks uh, okay. within the party. Ongamam Timka, political analyst, speaking to us from the Eastern Cape tonight. Always good to speak to you. Thank you.